Hello everyone, Pizu here, bringing you more of Mega Man Star Force 2. So last time, we managed to rescue Luna, and now we have the power of the Opart, known as Wood Ninja. So let's talk to Mom for a second. I recently have taken up knitting recently. It's pretty fun. You should try it. You know, I could never get into knitting. At all. Probably because I was always terrible at making craft stuff, like physical craft like that. But anyways, uh, let's talk, go ahead and talk to Luna. And see what's going to be the plan this time, now that we have our newly found powers. There you are. Alrighty then, so have you come up with any good ideas yet? Nope, I got nothing. You? <laughs> nope, nada. <laughs> well, well, think of something though. There's got to be a way to find everyone. Yeah. Even so, it's gonna be hard to do without any clues. Hmm. But yo, you already got one. What? We do? What is it, Mega Man? What is it, Mega? That's Solo Guy. Find him and put some pressure on him and find out what you need. But how are we gonna how are we gonna find Solo? Good question. I did <laughs> I did the hard part. You guys figured that rest out <laughs> the rest out. It's like what? <laughs> What are you mumbling about? You got an idea? Well, not exactly, but maybe if we turn on the TV, we can find something out. The TV, huh? That's not a bad idea. There may be a chance that a new prog a news program will show us something. Way to go, Gia. That's a smart thinking for you. <laughs> I'm not sure how should I should how should should take that. <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how looking out to the news like that is going to help. Find, find your friends. I don't know how that works. Hmm. Anyways, I wonder if there's even a news program on now. Blah 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 blah. Is this a yeah? It's a foreign language show. What? You get over overseas broadcast as well? I I guess my dad likes watching TV from around the world. We have so apparently. Everything to them is blah blah blah, but this game was localized here, so it seems it's fitting. <laughs> That's terrible. That I may make it sound. Uh, anyways, we have a really strong satellite dish on the roof on our house, so you can watch TV shows from around the world. Wow, you're lucky. You think? I'm not that interested in them, but if you want to watch, you're welcome to. <laughs> you know, Luna is not pro is not is not wrong about that part. <laughs> where's the auto translate? Where's the auto auto translator? Oh, here it is. Back to the strange world and the unknown world of damn world mysteries. <laughs> world mysteries. That sounds cool. We investigate strange phenomenon. The or oh my god, we I cannot talk today. <laughs> we investigate strange phenomenon the world over. This week, Badam, the ancient dragon of the launch nest, the mysterious messy. I know, I, I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be a dragon, but I guess that's one way to put it. It is supposed to be mysterious. I guess they want to call it dragon to make it more fascinating. Because last time I rem last time I checked, the last list was not going to be a dragon. It's more of a it's supposed to be like a dinosaur. Like a I said, what was it? Was it based on? Whatever. Anyways, it's like, what are you doing? This show is boring. We should be watching the news. Don't change it. What? You really want to watch the show? I guess boys like this kind of stuff. I don't see what's so great about it though. No, it's not because I like it. Just just watch press. You'll see what I mean. All right. Here at the Lodge Nest, there have been sightings of a large creature. As soon as we heard the report, the reports our staff were on the next plane. And we met a young boy. And this boy's story is incredible. It's almost beyond belief. Oh, no way. I saw it. I did. I saw a giant shadow swimming lazily. I have no doubt that it was messy. Messy really exists. Oh, would you look at that? It's Sack. <laughs> it is Sack, isn't it? Yeah, that's definitely him. He seems all right. That's a relief. But what is he doing on a TV show? And why hasn't he tried to contact us? Don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's finished. <laughs> he knows I'm worried sick about him. Just who does he think he is? 
<laughs> Yikes, when Pez gets like this. <laughs> like, Geo. Yes? We're going to get him. Sure. Wait, what? <laughs> if he's not going to come back home here, then we have to go there and drag him back. What? I've decided now. Get move on already. We're going to launch this. You know, there's no reasoning with her when she's like this. Yeah, I'm used to it now. I think going to get Zack is actually a good idea. But there's one snag. Gio, where is this lunch mess? Lunch mess? Lunch mess. It's not lunch mess, a mess. Even though it's supposed to be the parody of it. Anyways. Where is this lunch mess anyway? The snag is we don't know where the lunch mess is. Hmm. There's gotta be someone who knows where lunch mess is. Who knows a lot about foreign countries? Ken Soother, he looks like he might know. What? Ken Soother? Hmm, you're right. At least he looks like he will know. Alright, first we go ask Ken Soother about the lostness, then we'll go find Sack. You know, we live in a world with advanced technology. And by advanced technology, they have the internet. You know, we could have just, you know, do a little research there. You know, Google it. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my god. It's just so glare. It's just so jarring. Okay. It's like, yo, check that out, kid. Where? Up there, up there. There's the dish that she was talking about. Um. Oh, that's just the satellite dish Press was talking about. I guess it picks up signals from other countries. She's lucky. I want one of those. I think this is where we can actually have access to that place. I want to say if we go to the that's not what I want to do. If we actually go up there in the uh, the ES. Right, let's talk to Ken Suda because he probably knows. <laughs> Apparently. Like, what's that? You're like looking for that lodge mess? Let me think. I think if I like remember right, it's like in another country or something. Well, yeah, we know that. We want to know which country. There's more than one, you know. Yeah, dude, there's like lots of them. In my younger days, I went to a whole bunch of them. Of course, it was just like <laughs> just like surfing and stuff. Oh yeah, there's a legendary big wave. You know about that? The legendary big wave? It's like, it's like a giant wave that's like only comes once every 10 years. That's where I like took the name for this store. And another thing. And then he goes on and on and on and on with this story. But of course we didn't get any answer. He really goes on and on, doesn't he? <laughs> that was one crazy story. Yeah. Can't believe that Johnny's still alive. That's one tough customer. <laughs> Wait, what? I need context to this. Yeah, but we still have no idea where Lunch Mess is. We just told us what we already knew. Now what? Now it's time to split up and see what we can find out. Okay, I guess. Well, look, we just received an, a, an email. Uh, get some mail. I know something you want to hear. Meet me in the lobby of the hotel. Yeah, let's go to this mysterious, um... <laughs> no way, I was not supposed to go to go to, uh, with Shallow Hills. Mm, okay, so where is this mysterious person? Is it you? No. They told me to meet on the hotel. So, is it you, perhaps? Oh, we finally meet! You have no idea how I've waited for this moment. I'm your auto brother 2020. <laughs> I made a special trip all the way from the world, from the world where I live to come here and see you. I'm just so excited. By the way, if there's anything you need help with, feel free to ask. Well, now that you mention it, I see. Hmm, Lodgnet, Lodge Mess. I believe it's somewhere in Netopia. Oh, Netopia? Thanks for the info. Now we can go and rescue Sack. You're welcome. So after finally, finally meeting, I think it would be a waste if we didn't become brothers. What do you say? How about it? Sure, let's make a brother. Brother man. Just went to register brother. 
So we're gonna put it here. You're now brothers with 2020. <laughs> yeah, remember the uh, the auto auto brother feature right at the beginning of the first episode, and then we actually had to choose. I guess the aesthetics of it. So, very kind of it's sort of similar to Star Force One. You actually have these uh, NPC, the NPC brothers that you can add in here. I'm not sure how many they are. I believe that there's only the one. But this is still one of the only ways you can get. You can do the other one of the other uh, mechanisms of this game, which is the double tribe. So when this is when you you actually fuse to one of the other uh, tribe forms. In this case, you get you uh, this case for this idol bride, we get the circer. So now we can become a ninja circer. And they gave us some a little bit LP. Overall, it's the just making actually a real life uh, a brother men's is still the better way uh, is the best way to go, anyways. Right, the ones in the NPCs because those are going, the ones are going to give you more LP, and then you can also use their favorite cards on the bro the brother roulette. I'm not gonna go too much in detail on that's on that until like it comes like unless it comes very rambling. But now we can double try now. Unfortunately, we we weren't able to do. We're not gonna be able to do the other form. Maybe that later down in the future, because we still have long ways to go. <laughs> Remember, it's gonna be a hundred percent. So, yeah. Anyways, now that we know where to go, let's talk to Luna about it now. It's kind of weird how they try to connect those two together. It's like, oh, by the way, there's this NPC that knows where where you're supposed to go. But now, oh, now, like, oh, look, you know, you can want to be brothers. <laughs> huh? Did you get that? So lunch mess is in Utopia, right? We better get out and get our things together and go. Yeah, wait. What do you mean by, by things? It's my first time going to another country. Your first time? Okay, well, for starters, do you have a passport? Um, no. What? We already hit a snack before even leaving, and you can't get on the plane without a passport. Now what? I'll go get one then. But you can't just go and get one. <laughs> one does not simply just get a passport. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> well, you, you just can't actually. Not just not that easily. <laughs> After you apply, it takes weeks to print. Do you think we got the time for that? Weeks? Then we have no choice but to wait, right? <laughs> Not exactly. What do you mean? You need to get to another country, right? Alright, now think. You just saw that TV show. How was it being broadcast here from the overseas? I don't know. The EM waves, I guess? Wait. If we use the EM waves, we might... Exactly. You're a lifesaver. Fritz, you go to the large, uh, large mess without me, huh? What are you mumbling on now? Oh no, you're not going. You're not going to. You're not going to go, are you? No, I'm going. I think I find a way for me to get there. Just trust me. I'll see you. I'll see you there. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll trust you. I'll be waiting there for you to show up. But you better show. Uh, sh you better show. Got it. Got it. I'll see you at the lodge mess. Fine. I'm going to go and pack my things. I said, trust me, but what if it, th this doesn't work out? Then she'll probably knock you into next week, kid. <laughs> you don't seem to worry about that. You know, she'll sh she's all talk anyway. Anyway, you should get to bed now. We have a big day ahead of us tomorrow. No, you will think you will think he will have a passport or something like that. Uh, I don't remember what else do I need here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need those memory cards. However, I do want to save on the money to get this darkness hole. You're going to stay there for now. All right, let's continue. Let's go to sleep. And then we're going to meet one of the... We're going to meet one of the most... <sighs> One of the best places in the game. <laughs> and by the by the best, I mean the worst. Hmm. 
<laughs> that night. That Mega Man. I can't show myself to Lady Vega in this sorry state. I need to show some fruit for my efforts. Whatever it takes. The next morning. The next day, next morning, I don't know. Chris is already on her way to Metopia. I've got to find my own way now. She's got that satellite dish on her house, right? EM waste from other countries should be connected to it. You should check it out. Let's see what mom got to say today. You're going out? Try not to stray too far from home. <laughs> Did you just squint your eyes at me? <laughs> I like that flavor text there. <laughs> oh, here we go. I guess this is when they're going to explain it. Now just wipe the floor with these guys and yep, just like that. Now we're going to try out the double tribe. Double tribe? When you combine the powers of two tribes, it's called double tribe. It's like fusion. To do it, take a look at the bottom screen. First, you got to remember to tribe on. To use tribe on, you have to equip the transforming ability or use the brother, a brother card when you're not transformed during a battle. When you're in tribe on mode, you will choose a brother card from the custom screen. The card you choose has to be different, a different tribe than yours. This is the double tribe. What do you think? Easy. Oh yeah. If the brother card, the brother card is the same tribe, then you go into the car uh, roulette mode. Okay, gotcha. So in double tribe, the brother card you pick uh, will stay on the custom screen. If you get get hit by the element you're weak to, you will lose the double tribe mode, and the card that stay on the custom screen will disappear. Your element weakness is determined by which tribe you become in the double tribe mode, and you'll be able to add those powers to yours. Cool, eh? If you merge circle with double tribe, your charge shot turns into the thunder slash. And like uh, the like the 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 elect element cards attack power increases by thirty, and you can choose cards for to the sides. If you merge ninja with double tribe, your charge shot turns into the shinobi star. Then wood element cards attack power power increase by twenty if you press up. And yeah, yeah, you can dodge attacks and double tribe. If you merge Sharia with Double Try, your charge shot turns into Dino Can, the Fire Element, the Cars, and then so on. It's pretty much if whatever, whatever form you transform into, you gain their their abilities pretty much, and you gain the weakness as well. You you'll be able to tell based on whatever uh, you'll be you're going to tell based on which one you're going to transform into. So in this case. And yet, I don't get the size select for some. I guess because I'm technically not transformed yet. I was hoping for it, but oh well. Here we go. Oh. Let's wait. There we go. Elemental Blade. And it's like, okay, and that was double tribe. But there's still one more thing, the triple tribe. In double tribe mode, you can choose a different tribe brother card. This one is the bomb. You have to put the power of three tribes in one body. And the upper always says that once you master all three tribes, you'll be able to call upon the power of the legendary tri tribe king. The tribe king? Don't get ahead of yourself there. You still need a, di you still need a different tribe's brother card. When you find one, you can try out the triple tribe mode. Gotcha, I will. Yeah, that's what I mean. We're not gonna see tribe <laughs> tribe king in a while, and we just got the mail about the, the whole transformation. Uh, that's this is not the way to go. Uh, where is that? Uh, those stairs. Also, your link for is Big Bang actually changes as well. If you notice on that uh, previously, not only you know, only get the thunder the th thunderbolt blade from Circer. But it also has it adds the extra element with uh, wood. All right, so we're here finally. So let's see, let's find out where the where the waves lead to the satellite dish go. Waves that go to waves that go to foreign countries. 
I can't even imagine what it would be like. You're not ha you're not having second thoughts, are you? No, I'm I'm not having second thoughts. But this is totally new, you know. We should be a little cautious. Hmm. That's called having second thoughts. <laughs> Don't waste time thinking about it. Just do it. Okay. You want to go to the skyway? Here we go. To the skywave. And now for the best soundtrack. This soundtrack is so good. <laughs> the sky wave. It's like we're above the clouds. This is high up and everything is so big. The EM wave runs around the entire planet. It's not strange that the, they fly through the skies to reach faraway lands. You might say this is the pathway for EM waves traveling long distances. We're so close to outer space from here. I can almost touch it. I can really see how the wor whole world is connected now. Also, I feel like I'm closer to that. Hey, stop spacing out on me, kid. Sorry. Okay, let's find out how we <laughs> how we go <laughs> how how we can get to the large mess from here. Oh boy. Oh, the skyway. So I guess we can go in here. Okay, this is close. Say, you're you're that special kind of EM uh, EM beam that can pulse out by pressing the R button when you pulse out from the skyway. You can return to the last place you were back on the surface. For for example, if you pulse in from the satellite dish in Echo Ridge and pulse out from the Skyway in in Mess in Mess Village, you will be transported back to that satellite dish in Echo Ridge. Please learn to get the most from this ability. It's actually quite useful, but I can also can screw you over as well <laughs> in cer in certain cases. So, so what's so dreadful about this place? It's the encounter rate. It's just so up, up, up in the high. It's just so high up there. It's like, hello, hello back. It's like, hello back. Wait, hello back. Anyways, I was wondering if you can, if you could tell me how to get to the large mess. Ah, messy. You seek messy to get to the large mess. Just follow this road to mess, mess village. The village was a virtual, has, was a virtual ghost from ghost town until messy show up. Thanks. Okay, let's go kid. All right, let's head over to Messi now. See, this is where the Ooh, we got I don't think I So, let me talk here, please. Oh, oh. I don't think I have the hot motor here. No, I think I did grab one before. I'm not sure if I'll be able to grab another one here though. Let's see. Ow. I don't think I have an unlocker here, do I? Uh, let me go to items here. Yes, I do. I do have an unlocker. So we got one of the, one of the unlockers in this game, and this gives us a bubble fist. Oh, this is probably. Give yeah, here we go. It has a chance to trap your <laughs> trap a foe in, in a bubble. Really nice. Actually, let me pull side and actually get my health back. And I'll meet you back over the sky wave. Oh, and look at that. We actually got a needle attack from that one. If I can get a few of these, I actually that will be really nice for, for Ninja. Probably. I'm not sure how good it is. Uh, not that thing. I'm not sure how good it is. This is when you're this is when you're the cloakers are your best friend here. Which I actually should have grabbed some more. 
Let's use one of these just in case for now. So I actually want to check around here. Yahoo! Have you gone out of out of your way to do something for, for someone recently? Oh, it looks like your link power is, lo is lower than 310, 310. You haven't been helping many people at all. I'm not sure what item it is this uh, this NPC will give you. But we'll come back to him later. But as you can see, even with the um, even with a cloaker, it just it only helps so much. That's the thing. Because the cloakers in here, they, what they do, it just decreases it decreases the chances rather than just completely like just completely uh, negates encounters. <sighs> enemy encounter. Now we have this enemy over here. Uh, the pluff. So the gimmick of this enemy is usually if you're trying to hit it, it's just going to go back. It's an invulnerable, uh, a vulnerable form. So you won't able to like deal any damage. So you actually have to go like a one hit kind of thing. Uh, so we're going to do something like this. I should have, I should have moved to the right so I can get those, uh, the birds. Cause those birds are still part grass. All right. Are you serious? There we go. And let's see what we get here. Ah, look at that. We got the Puff Blast one. Awesome. So we got the battle card for that. Okay. Can you go this way? I think this should take us there. There we go. We're in the mess village. So we are, we're almost, we're actually here. Welcome. This skyway is right above the Dutopia's lunch mess. All right, so we're all here. So let's see what's over here first. Okay, nothing here. There's a green mystery wave over there. <laughs> but yeah, this is also the problem with this. Oh, here we go. Blue mystery wave. We got the puff blast, so in case you didn't get the battle card, you can always get it here, I suppose. The problem with also with the this skyway in general, the place is just too huge for its own good. And sometimes it can get really a little bit confusing just to traverse around, uh, just to move around in this uh, this area. Like this, like this is one of, like one of the things that why I just don't like Star Force Two. Well, I think I don't like I don't always go back and replay this game uh, get, get away, okay, I end up, end up getting hit by I end up getting hit by the scythe instead of the um, <laughs> The big fist dude there. Oh, I was actually lucky for that one. That would have taken. That would have done a lot of damage. Um, I think. Ooh, we got a fleet, uh, fleet G here. Hopefully, actually, I might end up using this uh, guy. Maybe. Let's see. Hmm. How am I gonna do this? Let's see which one we're getting. Hey, we got version three too. Awesome. Hmm. Okay, so I think I'm going. I'm still going the right way here. Here we go. Oh hell yeah, let's go. Got more a little bit of HP memory. And let's see what we get here. Okay, some more settings. But right, we should be getting closer to the entrance by now. Well, I should say exit, not entrance, but it's right, right? Just right there. It's just right about there. Uh, I'm actually going to use the, br the brulee here. Uh, uh, actually, that could help. Hold on. This should work. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> awesome. The Kilo Bomb. Essentially, it, you just throw it. Like, it throws four in, in a... 
it throws it three uh, three squares ahead of you and then if you throw it and if you blow if you use fire on it it's just gonna explode dealing damage in the area so such a good card such a good card and then and then if you use that along with with Sarian, uh, you can tell the damage right there <laughs> this war pole will take you to the floating village above bloodsmiths let's go all right finally we're here Then we're going to find out why Sack has it not called yet. <laughs> I'm really here. It's my first time in another country. Okay, well, first thing you got to do is pulse out at, at that wave hole there. Oh, no, 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 no. What, do I, what did I do? <laughs> first off, calm down. You made it here, so you should be relieved. Yes, but this is my first time. It's my first time in another country. I don't know what to do. Okay, get a grip. Jeez, keep it down. <laughs> Pretz? Whew. I'm glad you found me here. I'm not sure how glad I am to find you. <laughs> Gio, even if we were in some backwater place overseas, it doesn't mean you get to act like a freak. Have some dignity. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So I guess we got we go look for Sack now. Yeah, but about that, I can't understand what everyone's uh, anyone saying. I tried to talk to them, but I have no idea what they're saying to me. Hmm. Then we gotta find someone who can understand us. There might be someone else from our country here. <laughs> oh, language barriers. Well, anyway, I think this is where I'm going to end the episode here, guys. So next time on Mega Man Star Force, we're going to find out why Sack has never called us before or anything. <laughs> and we're going to check around this our new place for find a person who can actually speak on our language. <laughs> anyway, this is Miso saying, see you all later, okay? Take care. Oh.